nostrils, right here, external layers. Um, cartilage, uh, we would not be able to see. Nasal bone, that's more of your like vomer and your perpendicular plate. Nasal cavity, uh, nasal septum, uh, that's more of the skull. Hard palate, that would be like right here. And soft palate would be right here. Your vestibule between your, your teeth and your tongue. Uh, olfactory region should be this general region right here. Uh, nasal conchi. You got your superior, middle, and inferior nasal conchi in between are your meatuses, which is superior, middle, and inferior. Uh, orifices of the nasal lacrimal duct. You wouldn't be able to see here, but it's, that's where your tear ducts are. Right here, you have your frontal. Um, you wouldn't be able to see your ethmoidal here. Right here is your sphenoidal. Uh, maxillary that you would see in, inside the maxilla, you wouldn't be able to see here. Uh, pharynx, the areas of the nasal pharynx. Right here is your nasal pharynx, right here, because this is your nasal region. Right here would be your oral pharynx, because the opening of your oral. Uh, right here you have your auditory hiatus or your auditory tube, this green one right here. Your laryngeal pharynx, you would have it right here, your opening of your larynx. Here's your larynx representing it. Um, high old bone, you have right here, you have your lesser horns and your greater horns. Uh, right here is just showing your lesser horns. Um, thyroid cartilage, you would have right here. Um, your laryngeal prominence would be right here, also known as your Adam's apple. Your thyrohyoid membrane, it's your thyroid and your hyoid which is thyroid right here, and then hyoid right here, so it's thyrohyoid. Superior laryngeal, laryngeal nerve would be right here. And then if you keep going all the way down, this is your recurrent laryngeal nerve. Right here at the base, you have your cricoid cartilage, um, skipping middle cricoid cartilage ligament. A retinoid cartilage, it would be representative right here. They look like A shapes. Um, here's not a good representation because it's just painting on it. Uh, for your vocal cords, vocal process. Um, your epiglottis would be at the very top right here. You won't be able to see here, but it's like a closure right here. Uh, let's see. Thyrohyoid. For the uh, vocal cords, this is your false vocal cords right here. This would be your true vocal cords right here. The opening would be the glottis. Uh, trachea. For the trachea, the cartilaginous rings would be right here. For the C rings. Tracheolus muscle would be right here. If you keep continuing down throughout the trachea, you would find this V-shape right here. This is called the carina. And then right here you have your primary bronchi, right here. This is your right, this is your left. The right's more straighter than the left. Um, you would have your uh, secondary bronchi right here, where they're branching off. And then right towards the end is the tertiary bronchi. Uh, right here you have the apex. Down here you got your base. Right here you have your right lung, which is three lobes, one, two, three. This is superior, middle, and inferior the lobes of the lung. Right here on your left side you have your superior and inferior, which is only two lobes of the lung. <clears throat> you have right here is your horizontal fissure, right here. You have both on right and left. Um, right here, if you go to the side, if I turn this, right here you would see the oblique fissure. And they both have them on the right and the left side. Uh, on the left side of the lung you would have a notch right here. It's called the cardiac notch. This is where the heart sits. You would have the helis of the lung. This is where everything enters and exits right here. Where you have your pulmonary veins right here in the red. And then right here is your pulmonary arteries. And then you have your diaphragm is that right here. And that's it.